Matt, thank you. New this morning, Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood not holding back when it comes to calling out hate groups. This comes after a number of anti-Semitic incidents that happened in the county. The sheriff was quick to condemn the people who were involved in it, and he quickly became the target of some of these neo-Nazi organizations. In response, the sheriff started to sell merchandise like this. Maybe you saw some of this on social media, and it shows him flushing Nazis down a toilet with the word scumbag eradication team. Well, that brushed some the wrong way. So the sheriff tweeted that those people can buy one of his baby pacifiers. Joining us live this morning to dive a little further into this is our good friend, Sheriff Mike Chitwood. Great to see you, Sheriff. How are you? Good morning, and I see we have our green on for St. Patrick's Day. So <laughs> yes. we're ready to go. Well, you're obligated to wear it every day, so right, you're always in the club. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this. This is a serious subject, right? This is striking a nerve with a lot of people. Uh, but this started with we had several events, right? The Daytona 500, where somebody you know put this sign up on on the the breezeway, walking over uh, between the, the one Daytona and the and the racetrack. And you've had all these incidents where these anti-Semitic type things are happening and then you came out strong against it why do you think you're getting so much pushback what what i believe is that this is the underbelly of america you know you don't see it till it comes out there are a lot of disturbed hateful people uh you know the threats to come in against me between shooting me in the head blinding me wanting to do things to my kids it's just absolutely ridiculous but it's the, it's the world we live in. And, and, you know, if you don't fight against it, if you, if you turn, try to turn the other the cheek, as they say, you're, you're just not giving it a nod to further proliferate society. Nobody should have to live in fear that they will be attacked or ostracized from the community because of their race, their religion, their sexual orientation. That's just not how this country is set up. Sheriff, we're showing video right now. You have had some success in, in catching some of the people who have been doing this. Tell me about that. Yeah, thanks to the state attorney's office and the FBI in South Brunswick, New Jersey uh, police. This guy, Richard Golden, who posted online that the way to solve the problem is to put a bullet in Chitwood's head and that he's the end of the problem. He was on this uh, neo-Nazi uh, radical chat group called 4chan. There's also the chat group where the, uh, the guy in Buffalo who massacred all those people in the supermarket, he was indoctrinated on that platform as well with these white supremacist organizations, uh, these neo-Nazis, and, and, and his manifesto was posted on there. So there's a lot of dangerous chatter that's going on out there. And what happens is that the groups that I'm dealing with, they don't have the guts to put a bullet in anybody's head. But what they do is they load the gun and they put it in somebody's hand like this Richard Golden or like the, these mass shooters that we see and they pull the trigger for them. Sure, if you talked about the indoctrination, this is obviously something we have seen in the past uh, with radical groups. It, it is scary, uh, but you make such a good point that if you ignore it, right, it, it just festers and gets worse. Uh, absolutely. And, you know, and let's be clear. There is no good extremism. Not extremism on the left or extremism on the right. Extremism is extremism, and we have to do what we can to minimize it in American society. So what do you want people to know who, and, and, and I think this is what happens in a lot of cases, right? A parent maybe knows that their child is involved in this, but they don't want to turn them in, or they're, you know, they're worried about, uh, you know, like, oh, I could, you know, my child could end up arrested. But, but somebody has to do something. These red flags have to be caught. Exactly. And, and you know what? It's better for them to take an early arrest than it is to when you turn the TV on your son or, or daughter is now a mass shooter. You know, shortly after all this happened, Amy, we had three high school kids who decided it would be really fun and cool to deface the bathrooms in their high school with knots with swastikas. And I mean, this is, I mean, what are we doing here? So as a result, with, with the sale of these T-shirts, we're raising funds so that I'm going to insist that the judge, when he's going to put him on probation or she's going to put him on probation, have to spend time at the Holocaust Museum in Tampa. And, and learn what this is all about. And hopefully through education, we can stop the younger generation from turning that way. And what we're dealing with now, put the sunshine, the sunlight is the best disinfectant. When you put the lights on and the roaches run under run undercover. And that's what my mission is to put the sunlight on these clowns, show what their criminal histories are like. These aren't good people. They're thugs and they're criminals. Sheriff, your efforts are appreciated. We hope that you and your family stay safe. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. And you didn't have to dub me. <laughs> no, we didn't. No, we didn't. And, and Drew uh, Garabo was happy about that, too, after that fun radio interview you did. Thank you so much. Great to talk to you, Sheriff.